Hello there and welcome to the video. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're having a really, really good day. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up subscriber goals for your stream using Streamlabs Online. It's free to set up. It's really quick and easy to set up and you can use it not just on Streamlabs OBS. You can use it basically anywhere. XSplit, OBS Studio, most of the broadcasting platforms as long as they support browser sources. I'll show in detail in the video how you can set up the goal, customize it to a high degree. Then I'll show the two methods of adding it to your stream. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, it's actually integrated within the software. If you're using something like OBS Studio, like I do, then you have to add it as a browser source. The sub goals are really interesting to set up, particularly if you've actually got a reason to set up the goal. If you're just saying, I want 20 subs because you want 20 subs, it's a little bit boring that, but if you actually incentivize the sub goal with some sort of event or stupid thing, that obviously is a lot more interesting for your subscribers or your people that your viewers to then really want to subscribe to your channel. I'm also going to do a video on having multiple subs sources interlink with each other. In other words, being able to have just one placeholder that swipes through and swaps the sources over. This will be an OBS Studio tutorial, which basically will allow you to rotate different sources. And the example I'm going to be doing in that video is rotating multiple different goals, but on the same source. So you're not having to display all of those and take up a lot of room on your stream. Check out the link in the description below. It'll take a couple of days before I get that video uploaded. So if you see this right now and it's only just been uploaded, just be patient for a couple of days. That'll be using a plugin in OBS Studio called Source Switcher, but you don't have to use it for sub goals, bits goals, things like that. I'll also link in the description how you can set up bits goals, how you can set up follower goals and donation goals. I've done videos on all these. So in this video, we're basically going to walk through how you can set up this thing or something very, very similar. And by the way, I will not be shaving my head. Right? I've not got many assets in life, okay? But I've always had pretty good hair. That's about the only thing that I've always had. If you do find it useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, if you want to check me out on Twitch, I stream most days at Twitch tv forward slash machine dana come hang out let's do this Okay, so I'm here on streamlabs.com. You'll need to visit streamlabs.com and log in. Make sure you log in with the credentials where you're planning to actually have the goal. If you're trying to set up a Twitch goal and you've logged in with your YouTube gaming credentials, it's going to try and pull in your subscriber stuff from YouTube rather than from Twitch. But also, if you're unsure, if you visit the settings area here on the left-hand side and go into account, there is an area here where you can basically merge and set primary and link YouTube, Twitch. We want to be going into to the widget section here for the subscriber goal here. I've already got this set up, so I'm just gonna reset the goal. Click on sample goals. I'm gonna end the goal. I'm gonna go into settings here and I'm gonna restore the defaults. And that's what it looks like by default. So if you ever wanna set up a new goal from scratch, you literally go into settings and just go into defaults here. And now in this section here, we're going to customize essentially the browser source, which will then be added to Streamlabs OBS or Exploit or OBS Studio. Again, there's two methods to actually add this to the software, depending on the software that you use. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, all these configurations you can actually do within Streamlabs OBS rather than online. So you don't have to visit streamlabs.com, but I'll show that later in the video. But you can still do the Streamlabs OBS configurations online here, and then it'll carry through to your Streamlabs OBS account as well. Hopefully that makes sense. So all we're really doing here is customizing it and setting the goal itself. First of all, we need a title. So I'm going to chop my arm off when I hit three subscribers. No, no, I value my arms. Five subscribers. And we've already got, you can choose the starting amount here. So we could say we've already got one subscriber. And then we want to end it after a certain amount of time. We're using like dumb American dates here. So you've got to put the month first and the days, then the years. So let's say we end this in September. Now we've got the choice whether we want a subscriber goal or a sub points goal. On Twitch, one tier one subscriber is worth one point. A tier two subscriber is worth two points. And a tier three subscriber is worth six points. Most people here here are going to be using just the raw number of subscribers. But if you wanted to incorporate or even incentivize a tier two or in even tier three subscribers to sub, then you could use sub goals uh, for points instead. I'm going to use subscriber goals here just to get the raw number of subs. I can start goal here with this now and that will work. But the thing is, it's kind of boring and everyone uses the same typeface, the same green and everything. So we're going to go into settings and customize this a little bit further. First of all, there's different layouts to choose from. There is a condensed layout, which I like a lot better. Just having it all within the same bar like that just means you can squeeze the space and utilize the space better on your stream. You can choose whether you want to include resubscriptions within this or not. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that. And now we're just basically colorizing all the different elements to the bar here. Just ignore this. This is purely just a visual thing. There's the text color at the moment it is set to white. Now you'll notice when I did that, nothing actually changed. And that's because we're on the condensed view. But if I now go on to the standard view, it's changed the subscriber 
go here above and, and below to black. But then you've also got the option here, which is bar text color. If you're using the condensed version, then it will color all of the text, essentially whatever color you choose here. Let's go with like a, maybe a kind of a yellowy color. And then the bar color itself, I think sometimes colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. Colors on a color wheel like this, if they're opposite each other, tend to go really, really well to each other, contrasting. Whereas if they're next to each other, they don't tend to contrast all too well. But of course, a lot of it is just personal preference. So I've gone with like a pinky purple on a white. Just means that it pops out a little bit more. But then the bar background color is not showing this yellow very well here. So I'm just going to go a little bit darker on this. There you go. It shows it a little bit better. This is looking pretty good now on colors. We can now customize the bar thickness. We can make it really girthy like that. Or we can go really thin. I'm going to leave this really thin for now because I think it's pretty cool. We can also now customize the font itself as well. Make sure you change the font because it's such an easy win just to make your goals stand out and pop a little bit more. You have the option here to enable or disable CSS. If you know how to do CSS, that's a really easy thing to do. Or you can even search the Streamlabs OBS for like widget based themes that will basically paste in the custom CSS HTML through an installation process. You just have to click on these or go into the stream overlay store by clicking on it on the left or searching for it in the bar. So we've now got our goal. There's two ways of adding this. We're just going to copy this widget URL and I'm going to show within OBS Studio how we can add this to your stream. Before we do that, we just want to make sure that we're saving settings so that all this is saved. So now here in OBS Studio, we can simply click the plus button to add a new source. You want to make sure we're adding it as a browser source. We can give it a name. There'll be a placeholder image here, but don't worry about that too much. It's pure just a placeholder. We want to paste in the URL that we've just copied to our clipboard there. You can choose the width and height, but again, you can sort of manually adjust that anyway. So if we now click OK on that, it's going to pull in the information from Streamlabs Online. We can now adjust this goal to be as large or as small as we like. For example, if I want to just place it under my camera, it's absolutely tiny, but it'll do for now. You can do what you want. So now that we've got it placed and sized onto our stream itself, we actually need to start the goal. Don't forget to do this. So we need to go back to Streamlabs online. So streamlabs.com. We need to go back into the settings for the goal and we just need to click start goal. It's showing at the moment the sample goal, but if we now just click on my goal, go back to the stream, we can see chop my arm off, sub goal one. Might just need to make this a little larger so you can see it. There you go. Now at any point you can choose to end the goal, or you can simply just go to the browser source itself and just delete it by clicking on it and pressing delete. Similar thing within Streamlabs OBS, but here, instead of pasting the URL, you can still paste the URL by going on a browser source here, clicking on the plus icon and clicking browser source. We want to add a new one and paste in the URL here. Because one of the benefits of Streamlabs OBS and Streamlabs Online is they integrate really, really well. We can click the plus icon here and we can select the widget from the widget on the right hand side. Subscription goals just located here. Click add on that. Add source. Now, by default, it's pulled in all of those settings that we've just done online. But if you haven't already done those settings online, you do have the option to change those things here and even end the goal here as well. So you can change the visual settings, source settings, and the goal settings from within Streamlabs OBS. Click done on that. And of course, then we can resize the goal, place it wherever we need to. If by chance you do upgrade to Streamlabs Prime, don't forget to use my affiliate code in the description below. That will literally get you money off Streamlabs Prime. I think you save like 10 or $20 by using that. So yeah, fill your boots with that. It also helps me out as well. If you did find it useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what stupid goals you're coming up with. I always enjoy hearing what daft things you guys are doing. Be well and be safe and take it easy.